Hi, Tracy Nappy here with Genesis Blogging. In a previous video, I showed you how you could pull your Pinterest boards into a new tab on your Facebook page. So you can integrate the, the Pinterest in with your Facebook page and interact with your fans and share your passions and things that you love and all of that right there on Facebook, which is, you know, how many millions of people are on Facebook. But what I want to show you today is how I did this. I have a specific niche page on Facebook and I only wanted to share the board on my Pinterest account that was the most relevant to this particular page. Okay, so I'm going to show you today how you can do that and keep everything niche oriented. Well, you know, it's great if, if your things are all relatively the same or it's your personal page or something like that and you want to share all of the various things that you love from your Pinterest account. But in, in situations like this, I wanted to talk just about the crafting and the sewing and things like that that is the most relevant to this particular page. So what I've done is I've created a brand new page over here and I've got another niche that um, I'm passionate about. And in this particular one, I'm going to add a new tab. This is a brand new page. I just created it. I've got a website, I've got a group, I've got a book and, and all that kind of stuff. But I've created a page for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I've got, this is the app that I use. It's by Woobox. You can type in static iframe up here in the search and it'll pull it up. You wanna have one of these. Because I'm pulling in Pinterest, I always click this icon right here that looks like a little push pin makes the most sense. So when you see it over here in the left, it has a little push pin like that. That's what I want. So I'm just going to click that. Then I have to choose my page. I'm going to choose the page. I'm going to click, yep, I want to add that. Okay, and here it is right here. It, it, by default, it says welcome. We want to click that. And I'm going to come over here and you, you know, go to your boards, click on whichever board you want. In this particular instance, I have a health and fitness board. I'm going to copy this URL for my health and fitness board. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to click, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and enable the, the workaround just in case. I'm going to paste in my URL. Make sure to go back before the Pinterest at the M dot. And the reason why we do that is that is the mobile version of Pinterest and it kind of helps, you know, keep things hopefully to fit a little bit better. It works better when you're pinning all of your boards to use the mobile version, but I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that for the individual boards as well. I like to add a little space here um, in case you have a lot of pins and things like that, so, you know, a little bit less scrolling. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put um, health and fitness Pinterest. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to view the tab. And see, it's changed the name. If you want to make that pins to make it so it doesn't cut off, you can do that. And here you go. Here's all my pins right here um, from my Pinterest um, for the health and fitness category. It's got everything right there. So as you add them and you come back, it will refresh and automatically update this because it's pulling it live from the Pinterest website. So pretty easy um, just to go ahead and if you've got separate boards on your Pinterest for niche things that you love and you've got a Facebook page, um, go ahead and um, add a tab to your Facebook page and share your Pinterest in that niche with your fan, uh, fans on your fan page. That's it. Hope that helped you. This is Tracy Nappi with Genesis Blogging, and I will talk to you soon.